We read these words in John's Gospel. While Simon Peter was standing there warming himself, someone asked him, aren't you one of Jesus' followers? Again, Peter denied it and said, no, I'm not. One of the high priest's servants was there. He was a relative of the servant whose ear Peter had cut off. And he asked, did I see you in the garden with that man? Once more, Peter denied it. And at once a cock crowed. John 18, 25 to 27. Events are now unfolding really fast. And Jesus has been arrested and led away for questioning. Perhaps Peter was knocked off balance by his first denial. But now, feeling more threatened, he denies Jesus twice more. And as Jesus had predicted, a cock crows. Peter had earlier stood by Jesus declaring he would lay down his life for him. Now he has abandoned him. Who truly knows what pressures he was under? The fear, stress and anxiety were there for sure. And we can all do foolish things under pressure or make mistakes. And we're all under pressure and stress at this time for various reasons. None of us have ever known a time quite like this. And it certainly brings its own fears, stress and anxiety. We will make mistakes. But just as it wasn't the end for Peter, it isn't for us. Jesus, after the resurrection, would reinstate him. An encouragement to all of us that our Lord is willing to forgive and restore. I wonder, where have you let Jesus down recently? Is there something you need to be forgiven for? Do you need to sense Jesus' willingness to reinstate you as a follower today? Martin Luther reminds us with these words, This grace of God is a very great, strong, mighty and active thing. It does not lie asleep in the soul. Grace hears, leads, drives, draws, changes, works all in us. Let itself be distinctly felt and experienced. It is hidden, but its works are evident. I'm going to close this reflection with a prayer by Dietrich Bonhoeffer. It goes like this. Let's pray. God of the day and of the night, in me there is darkness, but with you there is light. I am alone, but you will never leave me. I am weak but you will come to my help. I am restless, but you are my peace. I am in haste, but you are the God of infinite patience. I am confused and lost, but you are the eternal wisdom and you direct my path now and forever. Amen.